Let's balance the equation C2H6S plus O2. This is dimethyl sulfide plus oxygen gas. This would be a combustion reaction. We have this compound here. We're combining it with oxygen. So combustion is the type of reaction. Let's count the atoms up. Two carbons, six hydrogens, one sulfur, and two oxygens in the reactants. In the products, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, one sulfur, and we have a lot of oxygens. We need to count all these up. 2 plus 2 plus the 1 here. That gives us 5 oxygen atoms. Let's leave oxygen to last since we have oxygen by itself here. If we change the coefficient, that won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. Why don't we first balance the carbon atoms? We could put a 2 here in front of the CO2. 1 times 2, that will give us 2. Those are balanced. Let's update the oxygens. So we have 2 times 2, that's 4 plus 2, that's 6 plus 1. Now we have 7 oxygen atoms. Let's balance the hydrogen atoms, because now we could put a 3 here in front of the H2O. 2 times 3, that would give us 6. Again, we need to update the oxygens. So we have 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 3, that gives us 9. At this point, we have a little bit of a problem here. We have this odd number. One way to deal with this is to say 2 times some number that's going to equal 9. 2 times 9 over 2, that would equal 9. 2's would cancel out. We'd have 9. So we could say 9 over 2, and this equation would be balanced. This is the correct ratio for C2H6S plus O2. Some teachers don't like having a fraction, so we could multiply everything, all of the coefficients, by 2. We do that, we get... So this would be the same ratio, except now we have whole numbers. So that's how you balance the equation C2H6S plus O2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.